Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and run repricing using Seller Engine Plus. To create a new set of reprice rules, or what we call a reprice schema, go to Inventory, Reprice Rules Wizard. This wizard helps you create your own rules for repricing based on competition info retrieved from Amazon. So just click Next to get started. In this first step, you can choose whether to create a new rules file or modify an existing one. I'm going to choose to create a new rules file. In step 2, you can define a list of rules to filter out competition you don't want to compete against. There are several filtering options and they all refer to buckets. Amazon provides information about offers for each item in the form of these buckets. And the bucket is essentially a group of offers compiled based on common criteria like seller's feedback rating and feedback count, fulfillment channel, item condition, price range, etc. So to start adding filters, just click the Add button and a drop-down list of available filters will show up. So for instance, if you only want to compete against competition that offer uh, the items in the same conditions as you do, you can use this first filter right here called only keep buckets that are in a specified condition and leave it set to same. Click OK to add the filter to your filters list and click add again to add another filter. Let's say this time you want to filter out competition based on their feedback rating. You can use this filter right here and you're not interested in competing against uh, sellers with a low feedback rating so you leave the first two options enabled and you're also not interested in competing against new sellers so you can uncheck this last option right here. Click OK to add the second filter and the order in which competition is being filtered can be changed if you click the move up and move down buttons. Moving on to step 3 here you can set limits for repricing. Limits allow you to define a reprice range specific to each item. So for instance, let's say you want to ensure a minimum 20% profit margin on all your items. To do this, add a lower limit based on the paid price and set it to be higher by 20%. Click OK to finish. Of course, you need to know that for this to work, you have to have the paid price value defined for each item in your inventory. You can also add upper limits. And these are useful when you want to avoid repricing against competition with ridiculous prices. For example, uh, let's set up uh, a upper limit based on a fl flat amount of 200. Once you have your limits defined, click Next. This is the most important step of your schema. If until now we established what competition we want to exclude through filters and what the repricing range should be through limits, in this step we define how the final price is actually calculated. So for example, if you want to undercut all competition by one penny, choose the lowest price as the reference price, then set the new price to be one penny lower than the reference price. You can choose whether or not to include shipping in your repricing here. And if no competition is available, you can either have the new price set to one of these values, or you can use the exception rules that can be set in the next step of the, this wizard. Before moving on, you can select a name for your schema. In this final step of the reprice rules wizard, you have the ability to choose what repricing action you want to take in cases where there is no competition available. When you are the only seller for an item, it makes good sense to increase your profit margin. So let's say you want your margin to be 100% when you are the only seller. To set this up, enable the first exception rule, then click edit decision select my paid price as the base price and set the new price to be 100% higher than the base price. Again, this will only work if you have paid price values added for each item. 
just click finish and you are done now all you need to do is assign the schema to the group of items for which you want these reprice rules to apply so select the items you want to assign the schema to click the edit button then from the reprice schema drop down select the schema that we just created then click OK this will bulk edit all the items in your selection your items are now ready to be repriced click get new price data and reprice and the new prices will show in the price column to keep an eye on price changes you can enable the last price column to enable the last price column right click anywhere on the inventory grid select customize grid columns then click the checkbox to enable the last price column click OK this column shows you what your prices were before repricing you can also check the reprice log for each item select an item then click the price check tab then click view reprice log this will open a new browser window with a breakdown of your schema and each action it took to reprice your item thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video if you have any questions send us an email to support at sellerengine.com